I first got involved with the Green River Task Force in August of 1982. I had been assigned to Dave Reichert, uh, who was the lead investigator. Police started thinking that they may have a bigger problem in a serial case when three more remains are found in the Green River. Suddenly, there's this man going down the river looking for bottles and things to sell, and he literally starts bumping into bodies. Two are in the river. They discover one in the bank. So essentially, very quickly, you suddenly had five. The atmosphere in the investigative area was just panic and chaos. There's a serial killer here. We want to solve it. Um, we want to find out who it is that's killing these young women. The situation that evolved, which was just this prolific killer, body after body after body after body. I mean, unsolved homicides all around Seattle with this kind of shadow figure that walked amongst us. And so it was a horrible feeling of fear. We had no idea the Green River Killer was sitting right next to us. 